LeBron James to the Golden State Warriors. This has got to be one of the craziest rumors slash stories I've ever heard in my life. And first of all, before I get started, shout out to the NBA storyteller. He showed me how to do these graphics. They're pretty dope. Play your heads move. I don't know. I thought it was dope. I watched it on his channel. And if you guys don't know the NBA storyteller, he didn't even ask me for a shout out, but he deserves a shout out. He is literally the best NBA YouTube channel I have ever seen. He, when I watch him, it's just like watching a movie. Like, it's insane. Go subscribe to him, please, and say that Nick Smith sent you. It's like, when you watch one of his videos, you will see what I'm talking about. It's not like my videos. It's not like any other NBA YouTubers' videos. It is seriously like watching a movie. It's awesome. So, go and subscribe to him. He's the one that showed me how to do these uh, VFX. So, shout out to him. But, yes. LeBron James to the Golden State Warriors. This is my take, because the amount of people that I see on social media talking about this is honestly just driving me insane. And I get it. I get the fact that when you have the best player in the world, in a story with the greatest team in the world, it is going to create a headline, and a very big headline. But I'm going to give you four reasons why LeBron James definitely won't join the Golden State Warriors this summer. Before I get into it though, I want to give you just some clear insight into what I think. Number one, the Golden State Warriors are literally going to target every possible free agent that is on the market that is a star, an all-star, or a superstar player. They're going to go after Anthony Davis, they're going to go after LeBron James. This is nothing new. This is what we see with every team that has a chance to get a player like LeBron, a player like Anthony Davis. It's just the Warriors trying to create a headline. Nothing more than that. And I doubt they're going to clear up enough cap space to get a chance at signing LeBron James, and for that matter, even Anthony Davis. The second thing is, if you're the Warriors, do you actually think that if the Warriors trade away Klay Thompson and possibly Draymond Green, in an attempt to sign LeBron James this summer. Do you honestly, and I want you to think about this, do you honestly think they will be a better team? They're losing their shooting guard, losing their power forward. They gain LeBron James, of course. Do you think they will be a better team? Just think about that for a second. In my opinion, no way. I don't care if you're gaining LeBron James, who's going to be 34, 35 soon, you gain him, of course he's a superstar player, one of the greatest players of all time. Of course he is. But, this is still Klay Thompson, Draymond Green we're talking about. And honestly, I just don't think the Warriors will get any better by signing LeBron James and getting rid of Klay Thompson and Green. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's get into four reasons why the Warriors definitely won't get LeBron James this summer. Number one, if you actually believe that the NBA would let this happen, you're out of your mind. Because first of all, the NBA, it's a business. It's a business first and foremost. Yes, they want the players to join whatever team they want, and ultimately they want every player in the NBA to be happy, live a good life, play the game that they love, whatever it is. But at the same time, the NBA needs fans, the NBA needs people to watch the game, and if LeBron James joins Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry, yeah, there may be a lot of people that will watch Warriors games, because who wouldn't want to watch LeBron, Steph, and KD on a team? Like, that would be insane. Obviously, it would be unstoppable, but it would be insane, something we've never really seen before. We've seen big threes, but nothing like that. Anyway, the NBA would lose a lot of support from all the other teams around the league. A lot of fans would just stop watching the NBA. It would be that bad. So number one, the NBA would not let this happen. And I promise you that. I promise you that Adam Silver, he's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. And he, uh, he wouldn't let LeBron James join the Warriors. Unless the Warriors did give up one of the two other guys in Stephen Curry or Kevin Durant. Which they're probably not going to do. Number two... LeBron James is not going to ruin his legacy, okay? Now, some argue that LeBron James' legacy is already ruined when he did join the Miami Heat. But in my opinion, look, LeBron James just wanted what Kevin Durant wanted. A ring. 
Both players wanted a ring. Both players went out and got their ring. Now, LeBron James is not going to go and do a Kevin Durant because Kevin Durant only did what he did because he didn't want to go ringless in his NBA career. He wanted that ring, just like many NBA players in the NBA want to get that ring. Kevin Durant did. Yeah, he made a really weird decision joining a 73-9 team, joining a team that beat him in the Western Conference Finals. But he did what he had to do, and ultimately he got his ring. LeBron James is not in that situation because he already has his ring, or multiple rings. He's got three of them, and he's doing pretty well for himself in the NBA, I must say. Now, if LeBron James is going to go join the Golden State Warriors, whatever ring he gets there, let's be honest, most fans and most people of the NBA will just see it as, yeah, he got a ring, but it doesn't really count. And yes, some people may say that with Kevin Durant, but it's a little bit different. If LeBron James were to join Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry, it's, a, it's a, actually a lot different to Kevin Durant joining the Warriors. Because LeBron James, like I said, already has his ring. So it just doesn't really have the same effect as what Kevin Durant did. Now, on paper, this could actually happen. LeBron James technically could join the Golden State Warriors. That's no question. It, it's a possibility. Obviously, very slim, but on paper, yes, it could technically happen. LeBron James could join Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant. But in reality, he's not going to do that. LeBron James is not going to do that. This is what it would take if he were to go and join the Golden State Warriors. The first thing that Cleveland would have to do is agree to a sign-and-trade deal that would send Klay Thompson and Iguodala to match James' salary. And also... Kevin Durant would have to decline his player option and take another pay cut, which could happen. Then, after all that is done, the Warriors would then have to trade away Sean Livingston, and then, in the end, they would have to fill out their roster with cheap veterans, looking to win a championship, minimum salary, and that's how it would happen. Durant, LeBron, Curry, Draymond, all that with a whole bunch of bench players. And yes, we've seen what the Warriors have done with Kevin Durant, but at the same time, there's about a 99.999% chance this is definitely not happening. Okay, now the third reason why LeBron James would not join the Golden State Warriors is because LeBron James is seen as arguably the greatest player of all time. Yeah, he doesn't have the rings of MJ, which it's going to be hard to get for him. But overall, when you actually have to choose a player, if you could choose MJ or LeBron, a lot of people are leaning more towards LeBron as his career goes on. And by the end of his career, well, who knows? LeBron James may be the greatest player of all time. In my opinion, there's a couple of things LeBron James needs to do before he is the greatest player of all time, but he definitely is the second greatest player of all time, in my opinion, close to Jordan. If he does go to the Warriors, no matter what rings he gets, he will never be the greatest player of all time. And LeBron James will know that. Everyone will know that. And you, it's pretty obvious LeBron James is chasing the ghost that lived in Chicago or played in Chicago, whatever you want to call it. LeBron James is chasing MJ. There's no doubt about that. So LeBron James knows that in order to beat MJ, he can't go to the Golden State Warriors. So do you think he's going to go to the Golden State Warriors? No. The fourth reason why LeBron James won't go to the Golden State Warriors is because he never came out and said he was joining the Golden State Warriors or had any plans to join the Warriors at all. He, ne he never said anything. This was a rumor, a story. Yeah, it may have come out by his management some way or another. Maybe he was trying to create a headline. I don't know what goes on in the world of the NBA and the headlines and all the stories that come out. But this is just one of those stories where... It's LeBron James. When the 2018 free agency comes up, just like the 2010 free agency came up, he will say that he will talk to some teams. And one of those teams will include the Warriors, probably. Just because he has a lot of respect for the Warriors and what they've done. Does it mean he's going to join them? No. But he will talk to the Lakers. He will talk to Miami. He will talk to the Spurs. He will talk to the Rockets. And yes, one of those teams may be the Warriors. That does not mean he's going to go and join the Warriors. 